Further facts on history that I'm sure the layman and the enthusiast alike would find very interesting. I want to talk about a particular year, and it's not 1492, it's the year 1451. What's the significance of that year? It's in that year that Pope Nicholas V declared that it was the duty upon good Christian knights to go forth into Africa and to enslave non-Christian Africans. And essentially in that year 1451 we begin what was a, essentially a crusade against Islam in Africa. And here we find that the beginnings of the British Empire, the Spanish, the Portuguese, the French and the Dutch empires was in the mass enslavement of African people. And what we have today is a modern economic society, modern Britain, is a direct result of the transatlantic slave industry. We know that slaves were taken to the Caribbean and from there they produced sugar. Sugar that was then sent back to England and from there trinkets were sent to Africa and traded with more slaves. So when we talk about history and how the significant and the insignificant events can affect who we are today, we understand history in its fullest context. And the continued debate over reparations for the transatlantic slave industry is something that will go on for probably generations more. But I think it should be understood in the context of those slave owners who were benefiting from this inhumane industry were compensated. And just one individual who benefited and became the Prime Minister of Britain for it was David Cameron. His family were slave holders in the Caribbean and they were compensated for giving up their slaves and emancipating them supposedly into freedom. So understand the tides of history, understand the significant and the insignificant aspects of history, but more importantly to understand society you live in. The study of history is very important and none more so than today.